Hi, this is Gary Shoup again from Traff Data, and I'm going to be showing a demonstration of the Turn Count Light app here. Um, my objective for the Turn Count Light app was to uh, I want to offer a turning movement um, board counting app for uh, university students, uh, residents, people who are not involved in transportation engineering as a profession yet. So I'm looking to add a, a low cost app and. Uh, pretty much stripping out the features that would uh, interest a professional uh, transportation individual. And uh, menu looks the same as turn count light. Uh, the differences are um, with the intersection geometry, you can only have four-way intersection. With the settings, uh, they're limited to only the classic interface and the hyper interface. Um, it's very similar to the turn count version one in many aspects. Uh, you do not have you're not you are not able to select bins for five minute or fifteen minutes, and you are not able to uh, classify any vehicles. Um, it's only cars and pedestrians. Okay, so uh, let me turn on. Uh, first, I'll show you the classic interface really quickly. Uh, classic interface is based on virtual buttons. I'm going to hit start and uh, just hit the virtual buttons to vehicle movement and. Basic count board app, pedestrians swipe in the direction the streets are crossing, shake to end, so that's the classic interface. Um, for the hyper interface, the one I prefer, it's all based on gesture movements, hit the start button. No vehicle classifications available. Pedestrians, you shake to end it. And uh, data output, you just email it out. Uh, data output's only available in uh, two formats. You have a comma, comma separated value. And uh, this is the file I just took the data with. So you have a comma separated value. Unzip it. And you also have uh, just HTML tabular, so there's no graphic PDF. Uh, there's no peak hour. Well, it does calculate the peak hour. It does not show uh, any of the results of the peak hour or the intersection summary. So let's say I want to open the comma separated value. The text reader here. Um, and here they are, actually the hundredth of a second. This is all the data that we're just playing around with right now. HTML, there's the HTML data we just collected right now. You got total vehicle traffic. Uh, that's actually going to correspond to exactly the same as the car traffic in this case, uh, and the pedestrian volumes. So that's the iPod touch interface. I'm going to open up turn count light here. Here's the menu, main menu. Um, set up the same way. In terms of the options you have, I'm going to show the hyper interface first. Again, no vehicle classifications, just a basic count board. I think it's really ideal for the college student. I remember when I was in college years ago, it was a case where we had trouble lending out count boards to do certain things related to labs. This way, student can easily just download the app, um, collect the data in the field, and, and, and go about completing it. Uh, down here, uh, I don't have it turned on right now, but. Uh, It'll show you your location GPS wise and a web view on a Google Maps. Help menu up here in the right hand corner. How to use the app. Go back to the main menu here. Show the classic interface really quickly here on this interface. And you can see the buttons here, virtual buttons. Um, Hyper interface works much better. You don't need to look down at the count board once you get used to it. Uh, with the virtual buttons, it's not as easy. So if you have a really high speed high volume intersection, uh, it's more difficult to, to do because you're not. It's harder, difficult to look at the traffic and look at the screen. In the data output for the iPad interface, you are not able to preview it down here like you are with the regular turn count version. Uh, you have to buy the regular turn count and. Uh, that summarizes turn count light there. Uh, I'm hoping they be able to offer turn count light uh, at a low cost. Uh, 
My goal is to be able to offer it around ten dollars or to uh, other turning movement count boards that are available in our industry. Uh, it's a it's a great price, um, and uh, I'm hoping it's able to help out a, a lot of people out there with different things. Uh, anybody has any questions, just just email me uh, at support at uh, trafdata.com. Thank you.